The film industry can be a scary place, and these tragic cases of inappropriate behavior are a clear proof of that. Holly J. It came out of nowhere when the actress Holly J suddenly retired from the entertainment industry in 2016. She starred in numerous movies and TV series, and people were confused as to why EJ decided to leave all of her success behind. In September of 2021, the truth about her sudden departure was revealed. On September 10th, Wei, a former member of the group Cram Pop, uploaded a video on her YouTube channel with EJ where she exposed the truth. In the video, EJ explained why she left the entertainment industry out of nowhere. I retired from the entertainment industry because of this married actor, and then added that the married actor allegedly used his power against her. Her story didn't end there, and she went on to further explain the disturbing things this man did to her. She stated, In one drama, that person and I were partners. At first, he was so nice to me in the beginning, but one day he suddenly asked, why don't you contact me on your days off? But we met almost every day because of the filming. EJ continued, but that was when I didn't really know what he meant. So I answered, but we're meeting every day and we work 20 hours a day, so we don't have time to contact each other. Then he didn't say anything, but had a facial expression saying, is she pretending not to know or does she really not know? It sure must have been a really uncomfortable situation to be in, but it only got worse for EJ from that point on. She shared that he would talk to her using slurs every day on the filming set. Obviously, this shocked not only the fans, but Wei as well, and she asked EJ if the man is still working as an actor, to which EJ replied, yes, he's doing very well. EJ continued with her story, one day he was filming and it was a scene that I wasn't included in, but he wasn't able to get into the emotion, so he was annoyed. He cursed everyone out on set and just left. The director couldn't say anything because that was the director's debut piece and the staff members were helpless as well. And then the actor blamed his bad mood on EJ. The actor ordered her to go to the waiting room and talk things out with him, but before she could do that, she was pulled to a different place. That's where she learned the shocking news, which would later become the reason why she left the industry. EJ said, The director suddenly called me to another room, and he asked, What do you think is the reason why he's been swearing at you and bothering you whenever there is an emotional scene? And I said, I don't know the reason why he's like that. Then the director said, He's looking at you but you aren't. I think he tried to force you by being scary. At first, EJ didn't believe what the director said, but she went to check in with the male actor. EJ recalled what happened and said, as soon as I went in, his voice was soft and calm. He said, EJ, do you know what people say after watching our drama? They say you and I don't seem to be in a relationship. I said, I will try harder. Then he suddenly said, do you know what you need to do to look like a real couple? We need to sleep together, but you don't want to do that, do you? Of course, I said no. EJ remembered that the male actor got extremely angry with her and even went as far as throwing things at her and cursing her out. Everything that happened led EJ to break down, especially because no one was there to help. No one knows who this actor truly is, but his name should definitely be revealed to the public. Who knows if EJ is the only victim of his or if he patronized other actresses as well. Yi Kyung Yong. In 2020, JTBC released the series The World of the Married, and although at the time of its release it was extremely popular and well-liked, it suffered a great damage soon after. It's because of one of the actors Lee Kyung Young and his incredibly disturbing past. The things he had committed has led some people to boycott the show completely. The receipts show that back in 2002, Lee Kyung Young was actually arrested and tried in the court of law for prostitution of a minor. The public records of the trial show that Lee Kyung Young manipulated and exploited an underage aspiring actress, anonymously nicknamed as Elle, into having you know what with him. Lee Kyung Young forced Elle by promising her a secure role in one of his future movies. Lee Kyung Young tried to defend himself by claiming that he didn't know Elle's age and had no idea that Elle was actually underage at first, but the following two times he forced Elle, he is said to have been fully aware of Elle's age. The court actually found Lee Kyung Young innocent for the first of the three times Sometimes they had something together, but guilty of pros for the other two times. He was given a sentence to 10 months of prison with two years of probation, in addition to 160 hours of community service. After this scandal, Lee Kyung Young faced extreme backlash from the Korean audience and couldn't appear on screens for almost a decade. His appearance on the show sparked a debate whether he deserves to be cast in any shows or not, especially because he committed a crime so unacceptable and straight up disgusting. He never responded to the criticism he's received. Viewers still find watching his roles uncomfortable and claim he 
shouldn't be cast by production teams anymore. Dong Min-ki. Dong Min-ki started off his career pretty successfully. He scored himself roles in numerous television series, he was also a noted photographer, he published two books, and even held solo exhibitions. In addition, from 2010 to 2018, he was an assistant professor at Tongju University. Everything he worked so hard for came crashing down in 2018 when he was accused of some terrible things. In February of 2018, Minky was accused of having inappropriate inclination towards one of his female students for years while he was employed as a professor at the university. Investigation took place quickly after the post gained traction online, and Tong Min Ki was immediately fired from the university. The university revealed what happened as they said, We don't know the exact level it went to. The students aren't giving us anything because there are several parties involved. Tong Min Ki's agency tried to claim these allegations were false and threatened to take legal action against those who spread rumors about the actor. An aspiring actress also came forward and said, I could no longer hold in my anger. The things that my friend and I, along with many other students, had endured for the past few years are not victimless rumors. The things that my colleagues and I went through were clearly harassed. My friends and colleagues who went through so much pain should not be taking the blame. The victim should no longer stay silent. In addition to the string of accusations, new victims came forward and said he behaved inappropriately towards male students as well. An anonymous post said, During acting workshops, he would say to male students, how are you gonna get laid when you're this pathetic? And would shame them and call them slurs. He would hit male students he disliked, scream at them, and curse at them. Apparently, there was even a manual done by the male students to protect the female students, which said that no no one should leave the female students alone with Minki. According to the manual, male students had to always accompany female students. Tong Minki's career suddenly turned into nothing, and it seems as if he couldn't bear the weight of those accusations, and maybe even the guilt that he probably felt. Minki was found unconscious in an underground parking lot near his home after he took his own life. Allegedly, he wrote a six page goodbye note, but the contents have never been made public. Park Shi In 2013, Park Shi was on his way to stardom and was considered a Hallyu star. Everything quickly backfired fired on him, and he was suddenly facing charges of forcefully having you-know-what with a woman without her consent. According to the police, the woman, who was also reported to be an aspiring actress, filed a complaint with the police where she claimed Puck hurt her on the same day they went out drinking together. Quickly after that, Puck issued a public statement, and while he admitted that he did have a drink with the woman, he insisted it never went past that. He said, In the process of meeting the woman, we were mutually attracted to each other and shared our feelings, but I assure you I did not have forced in with her. What didn't help his reputation at all was that he failed to appear at two of his three questionings. At that time, it was hard for Pux's fans to believe that he would be capable of doing such a horrible thing because they always thought of him as a genuine and kind person. There is a lot of layers to this case, and if I were to go over each and every one of them, we would be here for a long time. As the scandal was getting more and more widespread, it was revealed that the woman was offered a 100 million won settlement by Puck, but she demanded more. In the end, Puck was not ruled as guilty by by the court since the woman who first reported him dropped the initial charges without giving any further explanation as to why she decided not to go through with them. Yet it left Puck's reputation tainted and a lot of people to this day have a strong dislike towards him. Only the two of them know what happened on that night. Hopefully these victims have been able to heal from their trauma. Let's wish them well. Thank you for watching. Bye.